So your smartphone camera is not that good. What if you could strap a lens to your smartphone and make it better? I'm Michael Fisher, this is Pocket Now. This is the QX100 and its sibling, the QX10 from Sony. Let's check them out and see how they improve the smartphone cameras of today. So this demo unit doesn't have a battery in it, so we're just going to take you on a uh, on a hardware tour here. Uh, so unfortunately, Sony only has a couple of these on display, so we have to make do. Uh, the basic conceit is that this latches on, if you can see over here, this latches on to your smartphone. It doesn't have to be a Sony smartphone. It can be any iOS or Android device running uh, reasonably modern s software, and uh, they replace the camera on your device. This is where the battery would live, right, right here. Let's just take a spin around. Like I said, this is the QX100, the higher end of the two models. You can see the tripod mount down below, or you can mount this on a tripod. It does not need to be strapped to the phone to function. This is the NFC connection point, an on-off power button right there, microphones on top. Tight and wide zoom slider here and a shutter release. And uh, behind this door, you can see connection point for the micro SD, uh, excuse me, not micro SD, that's a Sony memory stick, and uh, micro USB connection point. Let's have a look at the software, see if we can learn something. Here we have the QX10 next to the QX100. We've just been told by a very friendly Sony rep that um, there's a, quite a bit of a difference here. We have 10 times optical zoom on the lower end QX10, but four times, only four times optical zoom on the higher end QX100. Both of them, though, incorporate sensor sizes larger than one inch, which is pretty incredible. Pretty awesome low light performance as well. And the resolution difference between these two is only two megapixels. It's 20, 20 and then some, and 18 and then some on this device over here. You can see this one is powered on, and we are paired to this smartphone here. You can see the build is quite similar to the uh, model we just took a look at there. A couple differences, but nothing really. We, we've got a tripod there, so nothing really major in terms of the, the feel. One is a little heavier than the other, but um, <laughs> I mean, they both are going to make your phone a little bit more cumbersome to carry. This is a, a Z1, and as you can see, we are paired currently. So if we can track up here and just take a shot. And we're not going to examine the image quality right here. We're just kind of showing you how the app works. Obviously, we're going to get a review uh, unit here, and we're waiting for the processing. Uh, let's see if we can hop on over. How the hell do you get to the... All right, there we go. When you hop into the gallery, you have a choice of which gallery you want to check out. And obviously, we can hop into the album here. And there we go. There's the shot we just took with this image. We'll just do a little zoom action. Like I said, we'll check out the image later. But this app will function on any Android device. It is called the, the Play Memories app. And one of the nice things is, because you will forget if you're not careful. There we go. See, we're connecting. There's a little bit of a lag time as it connects. And, but then finally we are back to, finally we're connected there. Okay, that takes a second. A little bit longer than even the uh, Lumia 1020 takes to boot up its camera. If we pop that off, I probably did that improperly and you can see the connection mechanism here. These doors fold up, but as you can see, hopefully if I did this right, the camera is completely independent of the phone. So you can put this on a tripod, you can put it somewhere else, you can just remotely control the camera with the phone. It doesn't need to be connected to the device itself, although that does provide a much more stable shooting platform. Anyway, this is a quick look at the QX10 and QX100, a very interesting product, definitely something we're not afraid to, uh, to geek out about. Not really sure uh, what our total thoughts on it are. We're just happy to have gotten some hands-on time. I'm Michael with Pocket Now. That's Tony behind the camera. We're going to talk about a whole lot more here at IFA. It is only the first day, so stay tuned.